Hey everyone, it feels so crazy to be actually like talking to you guys face to face. My whole decluttering of my makeup collection has taken a long time. It's been several weeks that I've been doing that and concentrating on that and posting all those videos for you guys. So I'm so happy to be jumping back into my project pan updates and then I have some reviews and some tutorials planned for you guys. So I am so excited to be kind of done with that decluttering series but I really enjoyed it and it was so good to go through my collection and really kind of give away a bunch of products. I still need to sanitize it all and I will kind of let my family and friends kind of go through it. This has been progress on a little over a month, about five weeks of me using this product and it is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows number four and as you guys can see I kind of depotted it. So what I did is I took that huge bulky packaging and with the idea of Jen in 10 or less, I think that's kind of how her name is, but I'll link her down below and I'll link her uh, video of how I got this idea. So what I did is I basically just destroyed the packaging from that Book of Shadows by Urban Decay and I was able to get to basically just this where I was able to rip everything up except this little cardboard piece and what Jen did in hers she created like a really pretty kind of palette what I did is I just kept it on there and I didn't really worry about it and then I just wrote a piece of paper with all of the names on there she was able to kind of glue it all together so that the names were still on there she definitely did a way better job but I just kind of did a really quick and dirty job of it and then put it in a CD case and that has been how I've been using this palette and has been so nice not having such bulky packaging it makes it so much easier to just put on my vanity so I see it every day so I know to try to use at least one of these shadows so my progress so far I have basically not used any of these shadows I think I may have used them maybe once or twice and just a few of them before this project to try to complete the whole palette and so the damage that I've done is obviously not anything too intense um, hopefully you guys are able to see kind of some of the dents. Eyeshadows that I've made the biggest dent in is this one which is Sin. So I have good, done a good dent right there. I have made a good dent in Grifter which is this uh, light kind of lavender purple. I have used these two a lot. This is uh, Virgin and Missionary. I've actually been using them a lot as mixing them both together and applying them as a highlight to my cheeks. That's what I have on today. really like the intensity and the kind of beautiful highlight that it gives. Um, but because I've used kind of a bigger brush, it's basically just been taking it evenly off the top. So I probably won't see any kind of major dents in there until I get really into that. So um, the other products that I've used most has been this one which is baked. I have used this one a lot too. It's kind of a beautiful silvery blue and that is a strip. And the rest I've just been using as I go. This one actually as well, this sidecar color, this nice kind of brown neutral. I've been using that a lot. I'm struggling with some of these shadows, in particular the ones that are super glitter packed especially this one right here which is polyester bride and this gold one which is midnight cowgirl I'm really struggling with both of those because it is almost hardly any color payoff it's just a glittery mess and the payoff that I do get is super powdery super kind of chalky and just not a cute look so I'm still trying to find some ways to use those but I'm being kind of gentle with myself of being like okay if I can get through quite a few of these shadows by the end of the year I will be really really impressed. The two are actually pretty uh, glitter packed as well but this one especially the grifter I'm able to kind of swirl my brush in there and really kind of hit off most of the glitter so I can use it um, and it's a really pretty color payoff whereas these ones they're just neither way is working <laughs> neither is super glitter packed or it's so powdery and it's just not cute so um some of the other ones uh, are just kind of even these this black and this gray uh, which is gunmetal and creep they are really glitter packed as well and so I'm finding a lot of fallout on my cheeks and on my face during the day so 
I'm struggling, I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling. I'm going back and forth of like, why did I pick this palette? And should I just scrap it and pick a new one and kind of have, you know, like 10 months to work on this other palette? But I'm trying not to give up because I see my progress in some of these other ones, so that's kind of helping to motivate me. And then just watching all of your guys' videos and seeing your guys' experiences have been motivating me as well. And so I'm gonna stick with it and just be a little gentle with myself on how practical it's going to be for me to be able to use up all of these every single one all pan no shadow so that is kind of my update and I keep on telling myself too like it's only you know early February I've got the whole 2015 to try to use these up I think that I'm just kind of being like a little discouraged because I'm just like oh my god there's no way this is gonna happen and then who knows at the end of 2015 I might be really surprised with myself so that is kind of my progress a couple dents um, the biggest difference is basically that I depotted this uh, the shadows and I put it in this container so that is my like five week almost six week update uh, let me know if you guys are doing this pan that palette challenge I'd love to check it out I'd love to see your guys' uh, progress. I think it's just fantastic of all of us Project Panners just rallying up and supporting each other. I will have my other updates for my other challenges coming up very soon for you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe and push the like button, and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!